After you import or bring your image into Capture One, before you make any adjustment, first look at the image and see what needs to be adjusted or what needs to be fixed before you start fixing it. So for this image, I want to fix the exposure because this image is looking too dark. So I come to adjustment slider right here, which is this adjust a capture one and just come to my exposure and I'm just going to bring the exposure up like this a little bit and I can take it down if this image was too bright, I'll just take the exposure down. But since this image is looking dark, I'm just going to bring the exposure up like this. And you can also use this brightness slider right here. So this brightness is almost the same thing like the exposure. The only difference is that the brightness slider is less intense while the exposure slider is more intense. That's the only difference. So I think I like the exposure like this. Or maybe I'm just going to bring the brightness slider down a little bit. Okay, like this works for me. Now next I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my high dynamic range right here. And I'm just going to bring the highlight down a little bit like this. And also, I'm going to open up the shadow a little bit so that I can open up the hair a little bit because I feel it was looking too dark. So I'm going to bring my shadow slider up a little bit like this. So 12 works for me. And what I'm going to do next, I'll come to my levels. And for my levels, this RGB right here, I'm just going to bring this shadow area inside a little bit like this. Alright, so after that, I'm just going to even out the skin tone of this image and also crop it. I'm just going to come to my crop tool. Click on it and just crop this image 4x5. So if you are planning to upload your image for Instagram, make sure you use the aspect ratio of 4x5 or 1x1. One one. It works well for Instagram. So I'm going to be using 4x5 for this image. So I think I like it like this. I'm going to click on enter. Now I want to even out the skin tone. I'm going to come to my layer right here and click on this drop down icon beside this plus icon right here. And I'm going to see and I'm going to create a new feed adjustment layer like this. And the reason why I create a new feed adjustment layer is so that I can have control over any adjustments I make to this new feed adjustment layer. So I can just rename this layer skin tone and come to my color tab right here. Once I come to my color tab, I'll look for color editor. So this is the color editor right here. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to see basic, advanced and skin tone. Since I want to work on the skin tone, I'm going to click on skin tone right here. So once I click on skin tone, with my picker tool selected, I'm just going to sample any part of the skin which I want the rest part of the skin to look like. So for this image, I want the rest part of the skin to look like this part right here. So I'm just going to click on it and it's just going to sample that part. So right now, if I scroll all the way down to my view selected color range and I just turn it on, any parts that are not selected are going to be black or white, while the parts that are selected are going to be on color. And if I just scroll up, you can use these sliders right here to adjust the range of the colors which you want to work on. So I want to remove the colors from the yellow a little bit. So I'm going to come to this smoothness and just take it down a little bit. And also remove it from the yellows like this a little bit because I want to target only the skin tone. And also remove it from the magentas a little bit like this. So right now, because the skin tone consists of reds, that's why the reds are still selected on the earrings and also some part of the reds on the clothes. But it doesn't really matter. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to this uniformity. So under this uniformity, I'm going to move the hue slider like this to about 30 or 31 and also move the saturation slider a little bit like this to about 31 or 30 as well and just turn on this view selected color range like that to bring back the colors for that particular place. All right, now let's see the before and after. So this is the before skin tone and this is after the skin tone. You can see the skin tone are looking even right now. So the before and the after, just a subtle difference. And also, if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce your opacity of this your skin tool layer. That's why we create a new feed adjustment layer to have control over it. So I just, I think maybe I'll just reduce the opacity a little bit down like this. All right. Now let's see our overall before and after. So this was how we brought the image into capture one and. This is after we process this whole file in Capture One. Now, next I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this image in Photoshop. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on the image right here and just click on Edit with and click on Adobe Photoshop and just click on Edit Variant and this image is going to open in Photoshop. Click on this video right here for the touch tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.